Dimitri. Hey. Sit down. What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Fausten. Uh-huh. You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail you have so much history. Sure. Well, I killed the boy, so they want me to. No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Nico Bellic, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. country do they let blind people drive. Nico! Nico Belik! You and Dimitri are taking over, no? This is not about taking over! You brought this on yourself! You pushed things too far! You would be dead if it wasn't for me. That is what Dimitri wanted when he killed Vlad. Dimitri... My brother. You see this? This that you says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice. <laughs> you should have been calm. No one, not Dimitri, not anyone tells me to come. You think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? He'd just be some prison queen! Had I not been there, meet for some gin monkey! I am not dead yet. Some are still loyal to me. Guards! Let us watch you die! Yeah, you are weak. Here are the strong survive and the weak die. You will see. I got where I am for a reason. I will have some fun on Take this away from me. I made you what you are. Man, 
I need you! You <laughs> You You're not too many people, oh, Mr. Oh, Faust! You want me to finish you off? 